All right, continuing our functions in 7.3, we're now on division with them. And basically, here's what we need to do. This is just f of x divided by g of x. So it's 3x to the 2 thirds plus 1 divided by x to the negative 2 thirds. This is actually simpler than you think. We can't have negatives, right? So because we can't have negatives, I need to bring that up. So this is 3x to the 2 thirds plus 1. But all of that has to be multiplied. All of that has to be multiplied by that x to the 2 thirds because now that's on top. So this basically needs to be distributed through. So 3 times 1 is 3. 2 thirds times 2 thirds, well, when you add those together, right, you end up getting x to the 4 thirds. And x to the 2 thirds times 1 is x to the 2 thirds. Alrighty. So, what we can actually do here is, because that is a improper fraction, I can try to rewrite that as a mixed number, which is 1 and 1 third, so that's like saying 3 x to the first power, x to the 1 third, plus x to the 2 thirds, so I get 3 x to the 1 third, plus x to the 2 thirds. If I wanted to, I could rewrite this with roots, but it's really not going to make much of a difference. Either or would be acceptable. This is just to make sure you understand how to uh, plug them all in. Uh, next up is composition. Basically, this is saying take g of x, which is this right here, and plug it in for x in f. So this is like saying you have 3 plus x squared plus 1 because I took that out and put this in all to the 1 half which is now like saying x squared plus 4 to the 1 half which if I wanted to I could write as the square root of x squared plus 4 that's really all that that's saying um, this one's saying now this one is saying that it wants you to take f of x, so take all of this right here and plug all of that in for x. So really it's like saying parentheses 3 plus x to the 1 half, but all that needs to be squared plus 1. 1 half squared is 3 plus x because that cancels out and I have a plus 1 there, so it's really like saying x plus 4 when I combine them together. That's really all that that is. Okay, trying out this one. You take all of g of x, right, and you plug it in. So you end up getting 3 times, that's 2x to the 1 half to negative 1. So I take that through, it's like saying 3 times 2 to the negative 1 times x to the negative 1 half. You can't have any negatives, so it's really like saying 3 over. 2x to the 1 half and we can't have fractions in the bottom so I have to multiply b uh, by something that will give me a whole number on the bottom which is a half so when this is all said and done I end up with 3x to the 1 half over half and a half as a whole so it's 2x and I could rewrite this as 3 root x over 2x as my answer um, with the next one, this is saying take f of x and plug that in for x. So we get 2, or sorry, plug that in the g of x, 2 times 3x to the negative 1 to the half. So it's like saying 2, 3 to the half, x to the um, negative 1 half. Well, that's like saying 2 times... 3 to the half over x to the 1 half. Once again, we can't have a 1 half on the bottom, so I multiply by a half because I need to make a hole on the bottom. So I end up with 2 times 3 to the 1 half x to the 1 half over x because a half plus a half is a whole. I can rewrite the top as 2 times 3x 
all to the one half because I pulled a one half out because they all have that in common. And I can rewrite that as two square roots of three x over x as my answer. So the only last little thing I want you to keep in mind is this right here. You might also see written in a different way. You might see it written like this. And that's fine. I just want you to keep in mind this means composition, which is what you were doing. Okay, so if you see that instead of it written like this, it's the same thing. All right, it's the same exact thing. So please keep that in mind when you're doing these. If you have any further questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to email me. Thank you.